Okay, next up is Joe uh, Morgan, followed by uh, Jennifer Sevet. Hello again. So uh, I just wanted to touch base with you on the Corona Mall thing really, really quickly. Um, I just want to make a suggestion that since the people at the mall are obviously the most affected by the developments at the mall, can I just ask, please, that you guys maybe next time there's a big development, a meeting, something, that you guys drop a letter in the mail to the addresses directly down there? Because a lot of the people don't hear. You may mail something to the, the property owner. Somebody may check online, but somebody, some people don't. They don't know anything. A lot of people were ready to buy cardboard boxes and tape rollers. They thought they had to move you know, sometime really soon that they were on a notice. Uh, it'd be really nice if something big breaks that you guys just, you know, let them know. Um, you know, so that's one thing. And the other one, I was uh, going to make a, uh, I guess my modest proposal that maybe we can revive the downtown association or actually set up some kind of a standing committee or group that would meet. Um, maybe made some city people, citizens, obviously the people that are doing business at the mall, the chamber, you know, that we could have a group. I mean, I, I would love to help. I know other people that would like to help. Um, I've got <laughs> Mike from All American Karate. You know, it would be great to, to get a group of people, maybe not just, just the people in the mall, maybe somebody from the library, and we can make a group of people that from that area that are, have vested interest in the mall to sit and come up with plans to work on what we're going to do in the parking lot, what, you know, to, to do activities and coordinate, you know, to have a formal thing. Like I said, I would, I'd like to help. You know, I know other people would too. Yeah, we've had we've had them in the past. Usually, where it falls apart is that there's a cost to improve and do things, and so everybody shows up. And then when the cost comes out, and it's like no one shows up to the next meeting. <laughs> well, and I, I'm all for doing stuff on the cheap because a lot of stuff we can do about the like the the permits. You know, a lot of that stuff could be done for a little or nothing, just changing some paperwork. A lot of it is just coordinating what somebody wants to do and just having an idea maybe something they want to pay for or, you know it it doesn't necessarily have to be something that costs a lot it's just some people a bunch of people sitting around a table can come up with some ideas you never know what will come out come out with it so if that's my modest proposal so okay thank you thank you joe